All right, so we have RJ uh, playing, I believe, Yoshi, a character he's been playing a lot recently. A lot of people say Yoshi's top tier or uh, very good, but you barely see any Yoshi representation, so I'm looking forward to see if RJ could show us something interesting. Okay, nice jab attack. Wow. <laughs> Very smooth by RJ, deciding to uh, B attack, reverse B attack, to go off the ledge. Pretty much made him almost unpunishable. Okay, nice back air. Doing little damage here, uh, you know, here and there. However, uh, it looks like, uh, what's the name? False is having a bit of trouble catching up and trying to hit him. I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna record this match. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, I just played like a crazy uh, tournament match, so I can't even commentate right now. I mean, I can deliver a little bit of insight if you will. Know, yeah, you're little. more than welcome, man. Uh, I, can welcome. Do, I can do what I can. All right, so right now we got PK's box to the mic get, being given a pretzel. Yeah, well, catch cool. on being given a cold pretzel. But in any case, in any case, we are, yeah, we have, first of all, we got Black Yoshi. You guys already know I'm a man of Yoshi. We're going to see what he can be doing. We have um, RJ commanding the Black Yoshi in grand finals. In the meantime, we have. <clears throat> in the meantime, over on the left side, we have Frost rocking the sheep, a high tier character that has so many uses. So dance, th there's a dance right there, nice and foot footsies into the up air that is going to knock RJ into his second stock. This is like it's going to be really exciting. I love Yoshi, and I just come to realize how much Yoshi is like Fox. So essentially, we have Fox versus Sheik right here. I know people like that matchup. Right now you see Sheik playing a little bit of the footsie game, just trying to get a little bit of um, tip damage on the Yoshi. Because he's already up the stock, there's no reason for the Sheik to even go in and attack. The back air is going to send Yoshi off. The scuttle jump is going to send him back into battle. Popping up an edge just to have a little bit of air coverage. More air coverage than Timo would have provided, I'm just saying. Right now we have a footsie into a bomb. I'm not sure what the exchange was, but she came out on top, so that's all that matters. Though she goes in for a neutral air, but gets caught by a perfect chair into a grab. Into the back air. Foss is not allowing Yoshi to get any real momentum on the ground. Yoshi has a pretty okay air game, but is nowhere near as, as proficient as Sheik says in the air. So you see that Foss with the right patience is quick commanding the Yoshi. Right now, even if he ain't managed to knock out Sheik on the second stop, he still has a long way to go. He is pummeling that shield right now. So if he can get a shield break, wait a minute. Oh, the side B is going to drop him into his last stock. But that, but not Black Yoshi, but Yoshi. We have RJ still having an up, what, up, steep climb, steep climb to bring back this set in his favor. There were four air into it. Into a returning um, schedule from Yoshi, which can rack up the damage. Because they're off 36% if you manage to hit all the hits. The fat bouncing fish does whiff into the air, but he's able to recover slight, slowly but surely. Uh, a weird trade, an interesting trade that just happened there. Since Yoshi off, he is now at 150%, clearly at high high KO damage, even from a floor air at the right position. So it's going to be so. We're going to see if Yoshi is actually going to be pulling off a more defensive game or still staying in Foss's face. Well, it doesn't matter because she cannot allow Yoshi to stay in Foster's face. He keeps having to go back to the edge and trying to get his footing back. Another forward air right below the ground sends Yoshi off to the right side, which seems to be. And ouch. The whip up B recovery is going to send the match into Foster's favor, making it 1 0 in grand finals. <laughs> yeah? What's up? I can come. When the match is done, if you could uh, click broadcast and click uh, yeah, local yeah, there you go. Thank gotcha. you, thank you, man. No worries. All right, so still on the mic, you guys have yo PK Sparks. I'm sorry to get off on the mic like that, but in any case, right now we have my man, my man, Black Yoshi. We're gonna be trying to bring it back against this sheik right here. I honestly, I feel like Yoshi has a slight, a slight advantage over um sheik just because of his weight. And, you know, with a little bit of timing, maybe a prediction, he can get in with a few attacks. You see a forward air is going to send Sheik down to the air, which is really strong. He uses the lick to actually get momentum in the other direction. I've never even thought of that. I am going to be incorporating that into my gameplay, definitely. So thank you thank you for that, RJ, for bringing this. I love seeing a, Yo a Yoshi, a black Yoshi, nonetheless, in Grand Finals. Good up against LOF Foss.
Right now you see the, the Sheik, which is still putting up a real good aerial presence. I wonder if RJ is starting to notice how much of an air game the Sheik is bringing in and try to incorporate that to where he can actually, uh, you know, start predicting him and, and force Foss to go into a different type of gameplay. The up air does whiff just because he barely lands on the ground, which really does suck. It's one of those times where if you just have a little bit of patience and charge up your up smash that you'll be so much more fine but I can tell you from experience in the heat of the moment sometimes you just don't think of the most obvious thing why are playing a little bait game 76 to the Sheik 117 to the Yoshi RJ is still looking for that proper attack just trying to get, rack up damage because Yoshi is really strong with his side smash his down beat and his up air he can KO Sheik at this point oh the bouncing fish Sends Yoshi just barely behind the blast line and sends him into his second stock. Right now, there's a whole, whole bunch of trades predicting, reading, seeing who's going to go for what. Yoshi is looking for that good attack. Goes for the goes for the ground pound, which is really strong for Yoshi, and is able to um, get him send Sheik up in the air, but not enough to get a KO. Right now you see that uh, Foss, I don't know if you guys noticed, but every time he gets a little breakaway, whenever he's in the air, he is charging up those needles, making sure he can do as much um, damage when the opportunity is opportune. I, I should have said opportune is right, I don't know why I want to use opportune, but it's a fancy little word of the thing, opportune. Anyway, we have Sheik dancing with Yoshi, dancing with the stars, dancing with the princess, you could say, or the undercover ninja, however you want to refer to Sheik as, just know that Sheik is a girl. But in any case, we're dancing with Sheik over here. Now he's gone. Just bait, baiting out, see if we can get him into an edge guarding game. Yoshi goes for the spike, but uh, Foss is having none of that. Bouncing Fish recovered back in the stage. Since Yoshi's up to 63, 68%. Meanwhile, Sheik is sitting down, 1 to 43 with a down. So sending Sheik off to the right side. He's baiting out the shield, just slowly and surely wheeling down the shield. The, the scuttle jump is something that if you, if you ever find an opponent who um, likes to air dodge or... Air dodge or shield, the scuttle jump is your friend. Sheik is able to go up, is not able to recover and sends him down to a second stock while Yoshi is sitting at 73%. But with two perfect scuttle jumps, you can actually bring this match back because the scuttle jump, I think I've already said this, but does about 36% if you land all the hits. So it's not over yet. Yoshi is now sitting at 87%. The back air sends Yoshi up to 98%. The air gives him a little bit more, more uh, forward momentum back to the stage. Not even wasting the second jump is a really good way to recover when it comes to Yoshi. Is by using that egg first, using your second jump second, and then um, using your egg again. Right now, the needle comes out, breaks through Yoshi's shield. You have a backwards neutral going back and sending Sheik off into the side, giving Yoshi a little bit more offensive momentum. A, per a shield does give Sheik back the momentum. It's, it's crazy how much a perfect shield at the right time can just send the game back in your favor. You always got to make sure that you're on top of your game at all times. Make sure you don't make a wasted move set because if you go against anybody who is proficient enough or experienced enough, they will take advantage of any situation just like that up and it was amazing coverage. And that's going to send this 2-0 uh, Grand Finals. 2-0 Grand Finals in Foster's favor. Will we see a match reset? Will we see a game five? Let me let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you guys are thinking. This isn't a YouTube video. This isn't my YouTube video. I'm always doing comment section below. I apologize for that. Oh wait, I think the set is over. Was it only 2-0? Two match? Oh, I was expecting 3-0. Well, that was that for that.